Welcome to the UNC Pembroke Accelerated Online MBA program. This video is intended to provide essential information to new students in the program and should be viewed after viewing the graduate school video. My name is Nick Arena and I'm the MBA program director and your academic advisor as an MBA student. I hope we get a chance to meet someday, but you'll be online students. Our contact will prim primarily be email and phone calls. Some of you may also have me in class, as I'm on the Faculty of Management, Marketing, and International Business Department and the Graduate School faculty. But I'm really a business guy, and I hope you'll take the same approach to your program as you do to business. Let's start with a review of the program. You'll be required to take eight core courses and four electives. If you're in a concentration, your electives are prescribed by the concentration. I guess that means they're no longer electives, so all students will earn the degree by completing 36 credit hours. This slide shows the general MBA in all three concentrations and the classes required in the concentrations. If your admissions letter indicates you were provisionally admitted, your letter also indicates what foundation courses you're required to take. This is normally the case for students with non-business undergraduate degrees. You may have one to six courses listed as provisions. There's also an option to meet these provisions through self-study and test. You may choose to use this option. We'll provide more information on an individual basis if you want to consider this. Just call the MBA office at 866-622-8627. All students will be provided a schedule showing all the classes they are required to take, including foundations if required, and when they are available. This is a, a view of the first year of a schedule uh, for a provisionally admitted student taking all six foundation courses. If you're a fully admitted part-time student, your schedule is based on one class per term, six terms per year, completing the program in as little as two years. If you are a fully admitted full-time student, your schedule will show two classes per term, six terms per year, completing the program in as little as one year. If that's the case, I hope you don't have any hobbies, friends, or other activities planned in that year. You'll really have to apply yourself to complete the program in one year. If you follow your schedule, you should not need much, if any, academic advising. If you get off track for any reason, we can provide a revised schedule to get you back on track. Provisionally admitted students should plan on an additional eight weeks to one year, depending on the provisions required and the pace you take your classes. One other, other than schedule questions, I'm most involved with students when they have concerns in a class. While you should always try to work out issues with your instructor, first there may be, with your instructor first, there may be times when you need to talk to someone. I'm here to listen and advise. Before you call for advice in one of these issues, make sure you're completely familiar with the Graduate Student Handbook. In fact, after you complete this orientation, take the time to read the handbook and review the orientation if needed so everything is clear in your mind. You're responsible for everything in the handbook. If you prepare well, your program will be much better. Every semester, we must address students who are being dismissed from the program and the grad school for academic reasons. I know you've heard this before, but let me make it clear. You'll be dismissed from the program and the grad school if you receive an F grade in a class, any class, including foundations. You will also be dismissed from the program if you receive a third C grade. You'll be taking at least 12 classes, unless you transfer classes into our program, and in the classes you take here, you may earn two C grades, but a third C grade results in dismissal. The only acceptable grades are A and B grades. Do not take a class with the intent of obtaining a C grade. When I talk to students who are dismissed from the program, I hear many reasons why they failed. Most of them boil down to the student not putting the time and effort into the classes. Graduate school is not easy. You can do it or we would not have accepted you in the program. 
but you will have to put a lot of time and effort into this program. Stay in touch with your class. Make sure everything is done on time and to the best of your ability. Ask for help if you need it and act strategically. If you have an extra heavy schedule, workload coming up, or unusual family duties, you may need to take a term off. If you're doing poorly in a class and it doesn't appear you're going to earn a B, withdrawing may be the best option. Keep aware of the academic calendar and when the withdrawal date comes up. Make a good strategic decision. Another issue we must address is academic honesty. The university has an academic honor code. You are expected to live up to it. Read it and follow it. Faculty are instructed to provide this information in their courses and enforce this policy. There are tools that can be used to determine the source of the material. Copying work you did not produce and representing it as your own is the most frequent issue here. Make sure you're aware of what your instructor is looking for when it comes to citing sources. An academic honor code violation can result in dismissal from the program. Let's end this video on a high note. Welcome again to the UNC Pembroke MBA program. We're here to make the best experience possible and help you reach your goals both academically and professionally. The Graduate School and the School of Business are delighted you chose us for this big step in your life. Let us know how we can help.